You saw the title, let's just jump straight into it. This video shows you how to install both Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition on the Steam Deck, as well as how to install a mod pack on Java Edition that not only improves the performance of the game, but and adds some other game enhancements, but also adds controller support. So this video will show you how to install Minecraft, add it to Steam, and add cover art, and basically everything you need to know to play Minecraft on the Steam Deck. Now this video is for Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition, so if you are trying to get only one of them running, uh, there will be timestamps in the description so that you can skip around to different steps for each version. However, after installing the initial app, they are pretty similar, so I kind of just grouped them together into one video. It'd be a waste to make two videos, and let's just get to it. First thing we need to do is to enter desktop mode, and to do this, just click on the Steam menu, go to power, and go to exit to desktop mode. And if you've never used desktop mode before, you can use the right trackpad to move your cursor around, and clicking on the right trackpad will result in a left click, and clicking on the left trackpad will result in a right click. Another thing is I recommend installing Firefox using the install Firefox desktop icon. You don't have to, but we will need a browser later in the video, so I'd recommend just doing it when you first log into desktop mode. Once in desktop mode, navigate to the discover icon on the bottom left, and this will launch the app store for SteamOS. This is where you get third party apps that aren't in Steam. And in order to bring up the keyboard, we're gonna hit the Steam button and X at the same time. And that is how you are able to type within the desktop mode in SteamOS if you don't have an external keyboard. First thing we're going to do is install Java Edition. So we're going to install a launcher called PolyMC. So just search for PolyMC, hit enter, and then navigate over to this install button and just install it real quick. Now once PolyMC installed, there is a small setup process. So let's minimize Discover to do that. And we're going to head over to Games. And you may need to scroll down, depending on how many games you have, over to PolyMC, and let's select it. And then you're going to want to set your language. I'm using American English. And make sure for modern versions of Minecraft that you set the Java version to 17, because you need a newer version of Java to play 1.17 or onwards. And if you want to play an older version, you can switch to Java 8 after the fact. And hit Finish. And now we're going to head right here to Profiles and click on Manage Accounts. Once here, I'm going to maximize it, and we're going to want to click on Add Microsoft Account, and it will pull up a link where you can put a code. On the Steam Deck, the open page and copy code thing does not work. I'm assuming that is a flat pack issue, and I think this is easier to do on a separate device. So I'm going to go do this on my computer real quick. Be right back. And once you sign in, it will add itself and you can use that account in Minecraft. Now we're going to head over to the Minecraft tab and we are going to enable right here. Close the launcher after game window opens and quit the launcher after game window closes. Then we're going to try and navigate to the sliver of an OK button. The next thing we need to do is add an instance of Minecraft. To do this, click on the Add Instance button. And you can select a uh, normal vanilla version of Minecraft, although you will need mods for controller support for those. So what I recommend doing is heading over to ModRinth right here, and it should be near the top. If it isn't, uh, you can search for it, but you're going to want to use Fabulously Optimized. And what this is, is this is a mod pack that just adds some performance benefits and enhancements to the game, and it also adds controller support to the game. So you're going to want to click this, figure out what version of the mod pack you want for uh, the version of the game you're using, then click on OK. Now personally, I'm going to rename this instance by clicking on the instance name right here. And now I can bring up the Steam keyboard again, and I'm just going to name this instance 1.19.2. Now let's just launch this instance real quick just to make sure that this works properly. The first launch may take a while because it has to gather a bunch of assets and download the game and everything, so keep that in mind. And as you can see, it worked. Now for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, we're going to be installing a program called Bedrock Launcher. So I'm just going to search for Bedrock here. And here it is, Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. Click on Install, and let's navigate over to it, Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. Open that up, and here it is. Now do note, you do need to own Minecraft Bedrock on the Google Play Store in order to do this. So we're going to click Continue right here, let me minimize this. And then it's going to ask you to sign in with Google. Now do note that it may not support the latest version of Minecraft. For example, 1.19 has been out for a few months now and it's still 1.18 only. But once you do sign into Google, 
you can just uh, download 1.18 real quick, or whatever the latest version is when you try this, and it's working. Here it is. Next up, we're gonna wanna add these launchers over to Steam. So just go to the menu and go to games. And now depending on which version of the game you're using or both, just head over to their respective launchers, right click it, add to Steam. And now we're gonna wanna add cover art for the two launchers. To do this, open up your browser and you're gonna wanna go to steamgriddb.com. And let's just search Minecraft. Here's Java Edition, let's use that. And for each of these categories, we're going to want to download one image. So let's uh, go to grids right here, grab it, save it to the desktop. Heroes, grab that. Logos, grab me one of these. And icon. Now I'm only going to do the step for Java Edition. This step is exactly the same for Bedrock Edition 2, only you'd obviously type Bedrock Edition instead of Java Edition when searching for art. And you're going to apply this to the Bedrock Launcher instead of PolyMC. But once you're in your Steam library, scroll down past your favorites right here, and eventually you'll see all games, and keep scrolling until you find PolyMC. We're gonna right click that, go to Manage, and click on Set Custom Artwork, and let's navigate over to our Downloads folder, and we're gonna select the box art right here, and now we're gonna click on it, and we're going to right click the background, the non-existent background of PolyMC, and do Set Custom Background. For me, that is this file right here. Then we're going to right-click it again and go to Set Custom Logo. For me, that is this one right here. And now finally, we're going to right-click, go to Properties, and click on this little square right here, and set the little icon for the launcher right here. Done. This process does work the same way for the Bedrock launcher, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to cover it here since it's the exact same process. Once you got your cover art in, we are done with desktop mode. So just navigate to your desktop and click on this return to gaming mode button right here. Once we're back in gaming mode, we're gonna go through some controller layouts for both of them. Now for Java edition right here, since we already have a mod for controller support, we're gonna head over to community layouts and you're gonna wanna scroll down until you find this fabric dash midnight controller layout. And this is a controller layout made for the mod that we're using for controller support. So that's why I recommend this one specifically. As for Bedrock Edition, the default should work fine if you just set it to gamepad with joystick trackpad. You shouldn't have too many issues with the default right here. And now we're all set. If you're playing Java Edition, launching the game will open you in PolyMC. But all you have to do is use your mouse to select the instance you want to play and then click on launch. If you want to, you can use the dash dash launch option in order to skip the launcher and make it launch straight into the game. However, I wouldn't recommend this because if you need to add a new instance for any reason, let's say you want to play a different version of the game, or you're trying to update the game, then you'd have to go back into desktop mode in order to do that. And Bedrock Edition also still does require a launcher, but it's not too hard to launch it. You just have to use the touch screen and hit the play button whenever you launch it. And other than that, that is it. If this video helped you, please drop a like and subscribe. And thanks to my patrons who donate $5 or more, including Jim Peter, Frank, Tech Hut, Sam Covet, and Mitchell Vantino. See you in the next vid.